Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to include files into the page with a click of a button using jQuery. Now we've already established uh, how we uh, create our functions in our jfunc.js file and if you haven't done this already this is pretty easy to uh, see here when we've included this with a script we also have included jQuery and I also have a file that I'm ready to include into my page on the click of a button and that's called scores.html now this could be any type of uh, file such as HTML documents which I'm going to be using in this example we can also include PHP files um, text files anything like that the only thing that you'll find uh, that won't load using the load function are things like images you would have to modify header information and I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial okay so let's first of all take a look at the interface that we need to create if I go ahead and look at the page at the moment we can see that there's nothing let's go ahead and create a button which will initiate the file loading into the page so the type is button the value is going to be load and we need an on click event and we need to call a function when this uh, on click event is initiated okay so let's go straight over to in fact let's first of all create the area that we want to include this file to be put in so I'm gonna say div I'm gonna give this div a ID of content area so this is the name that we're referencing from let's go over to jfunc which is included on our page so we can take advantage of this separate file and I'm gonna create a function called um, let's see load file now we're going to give this two parameters that we can take in. The first one is the file and the second one is going to be the area in which we want to include the file. So in this case I'm just going to type element because we're going to choose an element where we want to include it. So let's go ahead and actually call this function even though we're not doing anything. So load underscore file. Remember we're giving it two parameters. The first one's the file so we can determine that in just a moment and the second one is the area we want to include it in and this is hash content area we're referencing this div with a hash and then we're giving the name that we've specified just here now the file is going to be scores.html and this is in the root directory that we're currently working in you can see it just here so let's just type scores scores.html so the first thing we're passing is the name of the file obviously if it was in a different folder you can use directory uh, switching and then the uh, div to load it in so it'll load it just into here so scores.html is just a HTML document with a table and a list of scores uh, next to each name so I suppose we can go ahead and just preview that and that's what it looks like in its plain uh, state without uh, it being included and you can see that we've got the addition of a load button when we refresh this page so the function is going to be extremely simple it's just one line we need to again reference to something that we're where we're putting something and this is the element that we pass through and we're going to say dot and we're going to use load now this is the function that actually loads the file in much like an ajax where in ajax where you were to load a file in however we're doing this on just one line remember jQuery can take advantage of Ajax functionality so here is just going to be the file and that's essentially it so what we're doing is we're pressing this button we're loading scores.html into content area which we've specified down here using this function which is included on our page so let's go ahead and see what that what happens click load and you can see that the file is loaded into the page so as you can see this is a pretty standard function and its functionality simply just loads in a page so you may be thinking why would you want to do this well in some pages you may want to by default load a file in for example a PHP file you then might want to have um, an additional function which then updates that data for example you might want to by default load this score in you might have another button up here saying change score or uh, sort scores or something like that now you wouldn't be able to take uh, advantage of the load functionality in this case but you would have to uh, use requests and this is something that we'll look at look at in another tutorial however knowing this load functionality exists is extremely useful when you're just loading data into a page from another source